Hi everyone, this is Deacon Steve Greco from St. Elizabeth Ann Seton in Irvine, and I'm president of Spirit-Filled Hearts Ministry, and I say happy Tritium and happy and blessed Easter to all of you. Are you excited, as excited as I am? I wanna share just a few key points about why we should be so joyous, so filled with the Holy Spirit. The first is how much Jesus loves us. Think about it for a second. We've been living through a period of so many people having fear. Remember what fear stands for, false evidence appearing real. The devil wants you to be afraid of everything, of your health, of your job, of the family, everything. But guess what? Jesus has broken through that fear. He's broken through it with his love. He's broken through it through his death and resurrection. That's what Easter is all about. As we focus on the Tritium, we're focusing on what, how much he loves us through his death, his painful death, but through the resurrection. So the very first thing we have to focus on is Jesus loves you unconditionally. Do me a favor, take a look at Romans chapter eight, the very first verse. There's no condemnation in those in Christ Jesus. Jesus doesn't condemn you. Don't condemn yourself, but keep reading that nothing will separate you from the love of Jesus Christ. Nothing you've ever done, neither height nor death, nor angels, nor principalities, past things, present things, future things, nothing will separate you from the love of God. So during this Easter season, during this time of great worship, of time of great praise, think about how much Jesus loves you. Point number two, have faith that moves mountains. Think about it for a second. How do we get faith? Well, let's take a look at chapter 11 of Luke, starting at verse nine. It says, ask and you'll receive, seek and you'll find, knock and the door will be open. And it says, we who are wicked, who know how to give good gifts to our children, how much more will the Father in heaven give us the Holy Spirit for those who ask for it? Guess what? When we ask for the Holy Spirit, we get the fruit of the Spirit. And one of the fruits of the Spirit is faithfulness. Do you want more faith? You ask for it. Faith that moves mountains. Faith that when you pray, you know Jesus is listening. Faith that you tell other people about Jesus and believe that something good is gonna happen. The final point is be that evangelist. Be the evangelist that God has created you to be. That's what the church is all about. The church is created for evangelization, which means good news. There, is there ever been any better news than Easter? Is there any better news than how Jesus took upon himself all of our sins and he has wiped them clean when we come to him? When we say, yes, Lord, I, give me everything that you have in my heart. Give me your Holy Spirit. I give you my sins wipe me, make me white as snow, melt me, mold me, and use me. This Easter season, may we be filled with joy like never before. May we be filled with hope like never before. There's a reason you're listening to this message. For you have been called, you have been called to make a difference in your families, in your ministries, in your parishes, in your job, wherever you are, no matter what you've done in the past, you have been called to be the personification of Jesus, which means that you love with all your heart. You love the Lord with all your heart and all your soul. During this Easter season, may we look at the Lord and say, Lord, I give you all my brokenness. I give you all that I have. Melt me, mold me, and use me. Melt me into your image. Melt me into the personification of your love. Jesus is gonna send you to people that basically you can't even believe. You, you don't even know that they're there right now, but you will make the difference. For you will be the only Jesus that maybe some people ever meet. So during this Easter, during this Tritium and Easter and Easter season, May you understand that you are loved unconditionally and passionately. May Almighty God bless you with all the love of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, 
This is Deacon Steve Greco signing off in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.